Welcome everyone to a new series on the channel. This is SevTech Ages. Uh, so this is a different uh, Minecraft mod pack that I figured we would try out. So we had previously played Direwolf 20's mod pack. Um, I don't remember what version that was offhand, but we were playing that. We got a couple episodes in, then I decided to... Uh, you know to cut that out of the lineup i got a little tired of it also it's not very guided it's kind of just free reign uh, you kind of figure out what you want to do as you go along which is kind of nice but also it doesn't give too much guidance on um on progression so unless you know exactly what you're doing so i decided to switch it up a little bit i've been craving minecraft a little bit and i figured that it would be kind of cool to check out this mod pack um, actually, I was going to check out a different mod pack. I've been working on this all morning. Uh, I was going to do engineering, age, age of engineering or just engineering, something I, something with engineering. It was a mod pack and uh, it looked really, really cool. However, I was getting a lot of problems with stuttering when I was in game. And uh, I think that actually boiled down to trying to play it in full screen mode on my setup. For some reason, it wasn't working quite right with that. Um, but it, however, I just thought it might have been that mod pack in general. So I deleted it. I reinstalled it. No luck, no avail, changed all the settings that I possibly could think of and still no luck. So I decided just to nix that one and try out this one because it seemed just as cool. It does have a story progression, story progression. It's uh, achievement based, um, using the, uh, vanilla Minecraft achievements, obviously, but with, with more, um, items in them now. And as you can see, you go through all these different, um, ages. So you'll start off kind of primitive, how you typically start Minecraft with uh, basic tools. You gain a little more um, knowledge and you kind of upgrade to a little bit better things. You can see that campfire and other tools there. Uh, keep going forward. You have like the mid medieval times with castles and that kind of technology, industrial revolution, cities, and then space. Um, so yeah, I thought it'd be kind of cool to test her out and have some kind of progression in our playthrough. Now, hopefully everything works out. You can download this through the Twitch launcher. Um, it's the same place that the Direwolf 20 mod pack is, as well as the engineering mod pack that I was trying to test out. Um, so yeah, that is where you can get them at. There's plenty of videos out there already showing you how to be able to get them, so we're not gonna do that in this episode. Let's jump into it though. I did had created a world um, to test things out, uh, but I deleted that because obviously we don't need it and let's try Let's just do let's play Not capital L. Let's play uh, Game mode survival. Let's do some more world options here Obviously you have your typical uh, seed generator uh, Structures so generate structures is on obviously that's what we want do not want cheats We don't need our bonus chest world type. They there's a couple different types for this specific mod pack. There's realistic There's default which I'm assuming is the vanilla default. Super flat, which is another option in typical vanilla fashion. Large biomes, amplified, uh, just for fun requires a beefy computer. We're not gonna do that because I don't know if my computer can handle it. You do have customize, so you could customize it. Tons and tons of customizations here. Um, but uh, it kind of takes the fun out of it. So let's go back here. Um, compact sky, you can customize it as well. And obviously there's a lot of different selections in here. We're not doing that. And then just realistic again. So we're gonna do realistic uh, and call it at that. Let's play, all right, let's create the new world. So it's gonna take a little bit for everything to load up. Uh, it's kind of cool because it does give some tips as it's loading here. Um, but hopefully we get a good spawn in. The last one was pretty good and hopefully we don't get any issues with it. If we do get glitchy issues, then you're probably not gonna see this episode. But uh, if it works out, then obviously you're watching it right now. So I'm excited to get back into it a little bit. I don't know how frequent this will be, or maybe this is just a one-off episode, um, just to kind of get a feel for the mod pack, because I haven't played it at all, um, other than the test world, which even in that, I wasn't really doing much in. I was just basically flying around and testing out to make sure that everything loads in properly. Actually, it didn't take too long to get in. All right, here we go. Getting started. Welcome to SevTech. Open the advancements windows to find how to progress. Default key is L. We'll double check and make sure that's right once we get going here. 
Um, w, A, I, L, A, and Map are not available from the beginning of the mod pack. They need to be unlocked. There are many blocks that are hidden until unlocked through progression. That's what kind of drove me to this. So we have something kind of to progress towards as we are playing. Um, some warnings about changing resource packs, which we're not doing. Uh, multiplayer, obviously we're not doing as well. Uh, this information and change logs can be accessed by, uh, again, by pausing the game and opening the what's new icon from the right side of the screen. If you guys want to take a read through this, feel free to pause the video, but we're going to get going and close that out. And you know what? Everything seems to be running perfectly fine. Um, as you can see, I had my, my little stats up there. So I do have it limited to 60 FPS. Um, I do have VSync on and VBO, I believe that's what it's called, right? Yeah, VBO and VSync is on. I have my max rate, rate set to unlimited because it doesn't really matter if you have VSync on, it's gonna automatically adjust it to what it should be. So that's perfectly fine. So it seems to run smooth with this, so I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. Um, and obviously you can see what I have, what I'm rocking in the upper right hand side there. So my CPU, eight core processor, and then my uh, RTX 2070 that I have as well. So let's uh, get that out of the way here. Um, I also did change my field of view. I like to have it at 90, that's personal preference there. Video settings, change the brightness to be a little higher as well. Um, what else did I do? I think that's about it. And then music and sound, I turned the music off because obviously we don't want to get any copyright or anything like that on it. And then the only other thing I did was I changed some controls to um, serve how I have always historically played the game. So let's take a look. Let's see if L, yes, L is still our thing to get achievements up here. So as you can see, there's a lot to do here. So where do we start out? Here we go. Welcome to SevTech Ages. To complete the tutorial, complete the uh, advancement, compl compl wait, what? To complete the tutorial, complete the advancement to craft a work stump to move into age zero. Work stump. Okay. The work stump. How do you do that? Wow, this is all we have unlocked right now. So you can't even see what more there is into this mod pack, which is kind of cool. Um, what is this? Is that, oh, that's the work stump. Can we see what we need for it? So a chopping block and dark wood oak. How do we get the chopping block though? Um, I am figuring this out with you guys, so. Please pardon my um, my unknowingness on this. How do you do that? A chopping block. How do you get a chopping block? It doesn't even show it over here, though. I'm guessing it probably unlocks, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Because now we know what it looks like. That's not what we need. That's it right there. Okay, so we want to do a flint hatchet first. So that's what we got to start with. Flint hatchet so we need some flint some twine and then a stick where do we get twine from plant fiber plant fibers can be crafted or dropped from numerous plant sources such as tall grass fibers are primarily used to craft various forms of cordage okay so if we ah okay fibers diet look at that we got the first thing here fibers diet to get started you'll need to collect plant fibers from breaking Tall grass. Oh, okay. So we started up here. This is the progression we need to go through. Not necessarily down here yet. Is it's up here. So we'll need to get uh, breaking tall glass. Craft three together to get plant twine. Sticks can be found on the floor or by trimming some leaves. Okay. Flint won't drop from breaking gravel. Use the grass fiber mesh in a crafting grind with gravel to obtain flint consistency. In a crafting grind. How do we do that? Okay, well, I'm just gonna. So interesting how the particles are in this game. 
Right. We got some sticks up here. Got, oh wow, four sticks from that, okay. Wow, 14, okay. I'm guessing this is actually gonna be quite a complicated game. I'm just kind of curious, if we change our graphics to fast, how do these bad boys look? I, mean, I don't know if it really, I guess it did change it. And we can no longer go through trees, but if we go back to that and we put them on fancy, I thought we were able to go through trees. Maybe we weren't able to. Okay, I'm just messing around now at this point and seeing what we can do. We do have fancy clouds on. I don't, I don't think that really matters, does it? Oh, it's just off. We just turned them off. Fast, fast clouds. Yeah, I think fast clouds are nicer. I mean, it's not like we're really even going to be looking at clouds, so... I'm kind of curious if we uh, cut the base here. Nothing. We don't get anything from it. Oof, this is going to be a hard mod pack. I can already tell. I don't know what I've gotten myself into. Okay, let's go into our items here. Um, so we need to do the mesh. That's what we need to do. And in order to do that, we need twine. So let's do that. Um, I think we can just make all the twine because I think realistically we're going to need as much as we possibly can get. So let's make one of these bad boys. We did our mesh flint. Achievement made. Cool, we got that. Now here. <clears throat> Left click flint against a hard rock to create flanked flint. Doing the same to flanked flint will give you a flaked flint point. Okay. Okay. I don't know why that just dropped. I didn't hit. Oh. You dropped the unfamiliar item. Interesting. I wonder if that's because we don't have that in our yeah, we don't have it in our inventory yet So if we don't know it, we'll drop it if we go over it. That's interesting How do we use this bad boy? Oh Windows defender Okay, so we got to find some flint here. Holy smokes. Okay. That's a big hole there big crater So this might be a lot harder than I originally thought Coffee seeds. Okay, and unfortunately, can't do anything with that either. What is this? A rock. Okay, got some rocks. I hope to find some gravel. I mean, being along the shore here, I would think that we would find some. I hear sheep. And we're not to the point where we uh, have a bed or where we can get wool and stuff, I don't think. Yeah, we don't have a we don't have it unlocked of any bed items yet. Which is not gonna be fun. So we can't set our spawn point just yet. I was hoping that we would be able to find some gravel along the shore here. I know there was some down in that big crevice there, but uh, or the big um hole, but I don't really want to venture down there. These are pretty nice looking. Wow, these, they got, it's really nice. I'm liking the aesthetics mod pack, or like mods that are in here. Ah, perfect. Okay, this is exactly what we need right here. Look at all this gravel. I think this is gravel. No, that isn't. I am an idiot. That is not gravel. That's like andesite or something like that. Come on, there's got to be some gravel hiding out around here that's easily accessible. What is this? Oh, there's a villager in there. Interesting. It looks like it's a little hut. Oh, we have a, a fire going on over there. Wow, these wide open plains here. It's cool, but like... What is this? 
Interesting. Okay, we got some cows over there. Yeah, fire starting there. It's not good. Oh, we got all this lava here. That's why. Trees are burning down because of it. Okay, I'm guessing that's mud. All right, and we've reached another shore here. I haven't been able to find any noticeable gravel. Because I'm pretty positive we'll have to mine it. Like, I want something that we can easily get to. Because we don't have blocks, so we can't really jump, like, down and then uh, shimmy our... Aha! Shimmy our way back up. Okay. So we can get gravel like this. Okay. Six blocks. I'm just going to grab as much as we can because I have a feeling that the durability when we actually get something made is not going to be super good. Okay. That should be enough. Ten pieces. I think that we can call it good at ten pieces. Okay. Let's check what we have to do here. Okay, cool. So we just use this. The mesh. 65 uses that we get out of it. And we can get the flint. So let's get all of that and we can hold on to that. We have 55 left. Okay, now let's take a look at our uh, progression here. So a hard rock to create. Okay. Okay, so against the hard rock. I'm guessing it's these ones that we've been seeing down here. Oh, what did I run into? That hurt. Something over there hurt. All right. Uh, that didn't work. Unless it's in our inventory. Maybe that's how we do have to do it. I thought it'd be kind of cool if we were able to... No. I hear a zombie down there. Ouch. Okay. So it is not that. A hard rock. Unless it just means a stone. It could just mean a stone. Because if I do this... It's not letting us do anything. And it said to left click a hard rock to create flanked flint. Okay. We have our flint. That is a rock, but I guess it's technically not a hard rock. Hard rock cafe. Um, let's go back over this way because there are these bad boys here. I don't want to be too close to the lava. Let's try this. Oh, okay. There we go. So, advancement made flint sharpening. Cool. Okay, so you really do have to hit, like, a stone. Hit it against a stone. So, let's go back into our progression here. Alright, working for the weekend. And take a sip of my iced coffee here. If you want to work, you'll need a work blade. Among many other uses, you may use it to break leaves and... Rushes quickly? Leaves and... What? Rushes? What is a rush? I don't understand. Um, okay, we could do that. Or I think... Well, that's the end of that one, so maybe we do need to do a flinch, flint hatchet. Maybe that's what the next thing is. So let's get the hatchet up here. I think we could easily make that. Boom! Goal reached. It's too dangerous to go alone. Okay, let's take a peek again. Ah, okay. So this was our purple, or not a purple. This is our blue line that we first progressed through, and now we are on to the purple. And up to there is the purple. And then we have some more that are down there, and we could easily do those, um, creating fire and such, which actually probably would be very good to have. And then a flint pickaxe would probably be good as well. Hold a fire stick in each hand. Okay, how do we make a fire stick though? So it's just two sticks together and you can hit it on any block it said. Okay. Well, I want to try out this hatchet. I'm a little curious to see how it does. No, it doesn't break the whole thing. As realistic as 
This is uh, seeming. <laughs> it's not. Um... Oh, it's not letting us pick up unfamiliar items like that. Okay. I mean, we did get some wood, um, but it's not seeming super, super realistic. Oh, okay. So we can't. How do we make a manual chopping block? Oof, okay, so we can only use... This is gonna be... Uh-oh. Okay, Ooh. I am gonna hang out with this guy in here, I think. Oh, he has an entryway. Hi, buddy. What do you got? Ink sack and feathers for some kind of atlas. Okay. Well, what we're going to do, we're going to close that off. And we're closing off your rooftop because uh, people could easily get in here. Let's uh, clean out some of this stuff in here. Oh, I'm sorry, guy. Didn't mean to do that. But... We could try to get some fire going. So, we have a lot of junk on us right now. This probably isn't gonna let us hold on to that. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's freaking out because I don't know it. That is a little bit of an, an annoying thing to have. Um, what was I gonna do? Okay, so I was gonna take a look at our, cheap, our uh, progression list here. So we did get the caveman hate trees. Punching trees hurts and you won't get wood from using your hands. Use the appropriate tool. So we did do that. Um, use a log to craft a chopping block. Place a log or plank in the chopping block and use an axe to cut it into planks or sticks. But I think we pretty much used all of it. Well, here's our chopping block. We can put this down. We'll make this our temporary homestead, I guess, for now. Um, just because it's the easiest. Now, how do we use this, though? Maybe we have to have a, uh... A piece of... Aha! That's what we need. Okay. So we got the chopping block, and we were able to put the chopping block down. Um, and then it said to... Um... Use an axe to cut it into planks or sticks. Place a log or plank on the chopping block and use an axe to cut it into planks or sticks. Okay. We do an axe. So we have a hatchet. We have a pickaxe. Tomahawk. Wooden club. Bone club. Stone club. We do a pickaxe. Hmm. Let's take a peek here. So that's that's tomahawk. Upgrade up to laid to a flint pickaxe. Ha. Oh, 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 okay, it just takes a long time, and unfortunately it says we don't know that either. <clears throat> okay, so to get rid of um, unfamiliar items, you can use this trash can here. You have to hold shift to open, and you see the little lid come off, and then you can just place them in there. Um, and that helps with unfamiliar items, so they're not just floating around. Um, since they do drop if you do not know them. So I think that's about it. There's a lot of bad guys outside, and unfortunately we can't see what time of day it is. Okay. I think that's the best. We can see what time of day it is then. We have our guy in here as well. Um... So yeah, I was saying the next one I kind of wanted to do, I'm guessing that rocks, twine, and sticks to make a fire pit. So let's do this. Let's create the fire. I think we can easily do that. So we need two of these. 
Hmm. What is this? Wilted fire sticks. Okay, we have two of them. Unfortunately, they do not. Uh, how do we hold it in both hands? It says. Can we set something on fire? So if I put this wood down, can we use this to set this wood on fire? I don't know if it just takes maybe a while. I wish there was some kind of progression you could see if it was working or not. I don't think this is working. Yeah, that's not working. Hmm. Interesting. How do we... Oh, it's Galacticraft. That's what we got that stuff down there for. How do we hold in both hands, though? Oh, both hands. Okay, so it has to go into the... Maybe like this? Oh, no! <laughs> okay, I hope it doesn't set everything on fire. Let's get rid of that boy. I do like the uh, particle effects though. That's pretty cool. I don't know how long that's going to last for. Um, but I guess we figured it out. So you do have to put one in your shield slot and then one on your other one. And um, I was holding down the attack button and then uh, it just flip flopped back over. So. I'd have to play around with it a little more to understand exactly how it works, but uh, it seems like... Oh no, oh no, 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 no. It's setting everything on fire. And we're out. Oh, my Lanta. Okay, no, 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 no. Why is he hunched over? I think we kind of messed up here, guys. Let's tear up some of this ground here. We kind of messed up. We destroyed his house. Sorry, my guy. I didn't mean to destroy your house here. I hope it's not too dark. You know, I'm just kind of realizing that now. Let me um, let me boost the brightness up a little bit. Okay, hopefully, it's a little bit better for you guys. I'm gonna need some more dirt. Is there a bunch of baddies out here? I think they're all downstairs, maybe. But we uh we kind of unfortunately messed this dude's house up. Can I get this? Well let me no, I won't unfortunately let me get that. Well, let's just make this even, because my OCD... Holy smokes, I don't know what just happened. What the heck? What just happened? I don't know what just happened. Okay, I just want to get some dirt here. Because now I really have to fix it. I don't know what the heck happened. Oh, no, 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 no. Inside, inside, inside. Holy smokes, we're having a rough time. We're already off to a rough start here. Put that there. All right. Yeah, I don't know what the heck happened. It just started bouncing us for some reason. Okay, I'm getting so distracted, though. So, um, let's go into our ch our quest line here. So we did, I have created fire. 
Um, that'll be a little interesting. We'll have to tinker with that a little more to understand how um, the fire sticks work. But I'm guessing going forward, we probably won't use them as much. Taking a sip of my iced coffee here. Ooh, tastes good. All right, now we just need to do a fire pit. Okay, I'm guessing it's in the in here somewhere. I'm actually gonna audio settings. Where, 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 where? Music and sound. Hostile creatures. Let's bump you down a little bit because you guys are being annoying. <laughs> All right, let me check on something. Uh, no, okay, we're gonna we're gonna get it crafted here. We'll see how the episode turns out. Hopefully, the mobs aren't too loud. I'm just a little worried about it. So, we do have plenty of rocks. Oh, too large to craft in a two by two. Okay, so we do need to craft some kind of crafting table. So we have to use the work bent, the the work stump. So that's what we need to use. So I think. Which I don't have enough wood for. Dang it. And it's raining out. Alright, I am, uh... I think I'll pause the video because... Well, I guess we could use this. I was gonna pause, but... Let's just use this, because I think... In order to craft it, we need that. Yes. Oh, please, don't have... Oh, I thought... I thought we broke the game. Challenge complete. I'm stumped. Oh, there's some cool sound effects with it, too. Cool, so let's put that down. Wow, the texture on that is really cool looking. I'm digging it. So I think it's a free form uh, build. So you just place on top where you want the items based on the recipe. So, oh wow, we unlocked a ton of new stuff as well. Look at all this stuff we unlocked. Oh, that's so cool. So there's so much more stuff that we can be doing now. Because before we just had that one page, we have four pages now of stuff. A lot of it is um, these flowers, which is pretty cool. We do have backpacks, cool, and leathers, and oh wow, so much stuff. I'm sure it'll progress me through how to use a lot of that stuff. So, I wanted the fire pits. That's what I was interested in. There we go. So... Three sticks and then a plant twine in the middle. We do have some plant twine. How the heck do we make the plant twine again? Like that. Cool. Plant twine. Plenty of plant twine. We got plenty of sticks. So stick, stick. Okay, so it was stick, stick, stick. And then a plant twine in the middle, which I do not have on my inventory. I have to fiber the twine. Okay. I thought that's how we do it. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. How do I use this? <laughs> okay. To craft the item, place them on the table in the correct pattern. Okay. And use a crafting rock to right-click the recipe into existence. Okay. Is that what we have? Is this the crafting rock? Okay. Did we do it? No. Okay, we have to hold, we have to multiple, like click it multiple times. And it just lives down there. I got it. And we did get the advancement for... These monsters are going to kill me at some point. Uh, fire. Use some rocks, twine, and sticks to make fire pit. Use a typical fuel items to light and insert items to be cooked. Perfect. So we are progressing down that perfectly fine. But all of these mobs are getting so annoying. Don't know where this spider is. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not jumping on that again. There it is. There's multiple spiders. Back off. Look at that. Look at that. No, 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 no. We're not dying today. Not today. 
There we go. Alright. I need more wood, so I'm gonna get this tree chopped. Oh, I wish it would stop raining. I'm not staying in this place anymore. We're finding a new residence because of all those dang mobs. So give me that. My guy, I will, um, you're already protected there. I will close this off so you will not get any intruders, and we are off into the world. Oh, no, 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 no. Why does he have a trumpet? What is happening? Can we kill this cow? Will it give us meat? Please don't go into the hole. Back here! Oh, perfect, okay. We got some raw beef. Perfect, okay. We definitely need that. I know this is not the right tool for this, but um, I know we're going to need meat, so... I want to kill the cows while we have them here. I think they gave us bones, too, which is surprising. Yeah, unfortunately, we definitely need... Oh, there's some carrots here. Perfect. Okay, get the carrots. Oh, we got some cow pelt as well. I just want to restore our health, and I think if we eat enough... Yes, it starts regening our health. Perfect. Mm. So these carrots are a lifesaver right now. Um, I'm gonna pick up some of these rocks. They do seem useful. Okay, I want to find a good place for us to kind of set up base to begin with. Because that was nice, but it's right next to that cave and you get so much noise from those mobs. I definitely was not having it with that. So there's a nice little lake down here, which would be kind of cool. We could set up along here. This could be quite nice. Yeah, especially if we set up under these trees. Hmm. Uh, I kind of want something near, like, maybe uh, some kind of cave system. At least decently close, so we can, um, when it comes time to do any mining, we are close enough to something. Because I'm guessing that will come eventually. So let's wander a little bit. The only thing that will stink is if we do get killed, uh, we'll obviously have to travel all the way back to wherever we set up base camp. So it probably is smarter to do it um, near... The original spawn point but uh you know what screw it we're doing our own thing so let's find a really cool place to set up shop we could do it along here we could hop over to the other side there that would be kind of nice oh i see a cave system over there oh wow there's so much stuff there's so much stuff in the water too that's pretty cool what is all this stuff? Wow. Okay, this looks really, really, really cool. So much stuff to explore in this mod pack. We're only scratching the surface on this first episode. Ooh, I think down here actually might be it. I think this is my... This little uh, cove area might be where we set up shop for, uh, for now. And we can just dig into the side here. Oh, it's actually not. It goes way back there. Yeah, let's go back here. This would be a good place. Eh. We want to be able to easily uh, <clears throat> build something here. Probably out of dirt to begin with, so. Oh, there's a whole cave system here. Once again. Not really feeling that. Maybe if we just build something out in the open, it would, it would suit our needs more. How much dirt do we have? We don't have too much dirt. Let's collect some. I have a feeling that if we maybe make ourselves a little island, that it would be uh, quite useful for us. Those are dirt. You're in monsters. Some zombies. Uh, oh yeah, there's a cave system right down there. Let's get some more wood here, because I know we'll need it. Alright. And... That's 20...
So if we come out here, I think we could easily get something set up. Two, three, four, five. All right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Um, I kind of want to make it even because of my OCD here. Let me um grab five more pieces here. So far, I'm liking this a lot. You guys will have to let me know in the comments down below what you guys are feeling. Let's get that on there. I actually picked up more than I need. But yeah, I'd be interested to know what you guys think on it. I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, I can already tell it's going to be quite a grind to uh, get to know everything. So let's break this bad boy out. I think this would be a good place to set up shop for now. Get our stone here, place it down, and then we have our the fire pit is here. We can place this, we place this like right there. How's that work? Um, and let's take a peek. So if we use this, um, I don't know if it's better or more efficient to use like sticks and stuff or. Okay. It's starting to smoke. Maybe because it's outside and raining, it's not working. I wish it would stop raining. We used a lot of sticks though. What if we did dry thatching? Will that work? Nah, that won't work. It might be because it's raining. Um, okay. Well, hopefully the rain will let up. Hopefully it's not one of those things where... One of those packs where it just rains all the time. That would be kind of a bummer. I think it is getting towards daylight though. Let's take a look at our quest progression here. I'm also going to check the our timing here. We're almost at 45 minutes already, which is kind of crazy. So we did that. We did the I'm stumped and now it opened up a whole new path of things to do. Wow, a lot of stuff actually. We can make a chest. A uh, grindstone. We'll need to seek out a dark land biome to continue our journey. Locate the... Okay, so we'll have to do that. Use the nature's compass. Let's take a peek at that. Um, and see what we have to do in order to craft that bad boy. So, we just need some saplings and then a flaked bone. How do we make that? Probably through the grindstone, right? Yeah, the grindstone. What is this little horse? That's so cute. It shows the loading time. Okay, so two will give us two of those, so we definitely have to go through the grindstone first. Um, obviously, we can um, go this way and progress. Trade for... Okay. So we did find that guy. He wanted ink sacks and something else <clears throat> that I don't remember offhand to get the that book. We could definitely do that. A hot grill. Upgrade your fire pit. Well, I don't want to do that just yet because I don't know if the rain is uh, prohibiting us to do that. We could make a sharp bone. Because we do, we did pick up, well, we only have one bone, unfortunately. Let's take a peek at the, a place to put my stuff. Maybe this isn't the best place to have this. Is it, I can't tell, is it getting day or night? Oh, thank God, it, it, it stopped raining here. I think it's getting tonight I think it just rained all day is that going I think that's going um okay so hot grill upgrade your fire pit was a bit more the grill needs a heat source below it such as a fire to properly cook so a hot grill 
Oh, we can insert items to be cooked. Can we insert this stuff? Oh, okay, cool. So I guess the fire pit is going. I wonder how long it takes. Well, let's take a look at the grill. Oh, it went out. It just went out. So we just need some rocks and then grant or some stone on the bottom. So I'm guessing we do need to get um we do need to get a uh pickaxe going here. Oh, okay, cool. So that just got it. Now how do we get it out of there? Okay. So you don't want to be holding sticks and then you can left click and you can get it out. And look at that. Perfect. We got a steak. So we can put that back in there and then if we um so i was using that can we use like saplings i'm kind of curious you can okay oh, unfortunately we knocked that out i don't know how long that lasts for so realistically, we do want to progress up this way. We want to do a flint pickaxe so we can get uh, normal blocks. So, oh, did that cook? That cooked, perfect. Okay, let's get another one in there while it's still on. Oh, we lost it. We'll definitely want to get some more. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Definitely want to get some more wood. Did we get that? What happened to it? Oh, okay. For some reason, the animation, it wasn't showing up in there. So it's looking like maybe about three sticks will cook a piece of meat. So I just put three on. We'll see if it cooks it fully, how long it takes. But we're definitely going to go the pickaxe route. And I think we have enough to do it. We might have to get some more flint pieces. Yeah, perfect. Okay, three sticks will cook a piece of meat for us. Now, if I go into here... We unfortunately can't do the grill yet, but let's do a pickaxe, a flint one. So we will need we will need some more flint here because we only have one. So we have to break it on some hard rocks. Unfortunately, we don't have any right next to us we have some over there that we could utilize and there's actually some more um gravel over there that we can make use of let's head over here well, that's definitely glitched let's just hop down here can we use it on this does it have to be <clears throat> like a normal stone then which would be kind of unfortunate if it does have to be because we do not have one close by we could try to dig into here see if we find anything actually this might be a better place for us to uh, call home be kind of dark but uh i can actually just crank up my brightness here 90 percent because I know it is quite hard to see on YouTube. Okay, here we go. I thought this is how we do it. Flint. Oh, that's how you make it. Now I am confused. That's how we did it before, right? Um... Oh. Ah, okay. So you have to, I don't know how I didn't know how to do this before. You have to right click and then left click. Right click and then left click. And you can hold the right click. There we go. Yeah, you can hold the right click and then left click and that'll get you what you need. Do we want to change and be in here? No, I kind of like being out in the open um, so you guys can see because unfortunately we don't have any kind of torches yet. And so uh, I don't want it to be like impossible to see on YouTube. 
So, okay, let's go over here and let's craft this bad boy up. And I think we might call it an episode. We're already sitting at 50 minutes. So one there, one there. Um, I think we just needed two sticks and then a plant fiber or twine, probably twine. I'm going to assume twine. And then we need our stone here. And there we go. Uh, advancement made upgrade okay let's take a peek here so we are now up on this path we got our flint pickaxe and now we can create i think this is a what is this called a blade some kind of work blade um break leaves and rushes yeah so we were seeing that earlier or we can do a stone pickaxe to upgrade our arsenal so if we go into here let's take a peek Stone pickaxe, you actually do need stone and then some sticks. You can also use a shaft as well. Um, but obviously sticks are what we have for right now. And uh, that's what we'll use. So let's just run into here. This will be kind of our mining hole for now because we got some stone going. Perfect. I'm going to break out some of these... Uh, pieces of dirt here to give us a little more space to work. Uh, that is our hatchet. <laughs> That's not going to be super useful here. We definitely want this. And the mining speed on this is actually pretty good, I'd have to say. A little glitchiness there. But that's okay. Alright, cool. And we did get a ton of dirt too from doing that. 27 dirt. I will take that with us. We'll expand a little bit here. We got a 7x7 seven seven going now, and I think that's perfect. So they'll still try to hunt us over here, but obviously we can see him coming a lot easier. This guy does have a sword, so we're going to want to be careful. I'll probably want to create something that has a little more damage to it soon. Oh, we're getting everyone. Okay. We get did get some kind of present. Oh, my lantern. Holy smokes, we're getting swarmed, boys. We have a zombie villager. We're using the wrong tool for sure. This thing's about to break, too. I think we're still doing damage. No, we're not even doing damage. I think it's broken. Alright, alright, alright. I'm sure this clicking is not enjoyable for you guys to hear. Atlanta, come on. There we go. Holy smokes. Please no more. We've already dealt with enough. It's becoming daytime. Can you all please die? Alright, can we um No we can't. We do have these. Stolen presents. Steve Cart. I don't know what we can do with these. Does this actually give us stuff? I don't know what these are used for. Okay, I have no idea. I'll have to look into those later. Um, unfortunately, this is broken. We cannot repair it, so let's just toss that bad boy. So we'll have to create a new hatchet. But I wonder if we can create an axe now, a stone axe. We sure can. Do we have enough sticks, though? That's the next question. We do not have enough sticks. So, let's go some do some stick hunting. I'm really getting into this, so this might actually be kind of a long episode. I mean, it already is. We're at 55 minutes, so um, it is what it is. We're going to keep going. It's just really fun. It's nice to have some kind of progression. I'm really enjoying this mod pack so far, so hopefully it stays that way. We got plenty of sticks now. 
I will need to figure out how we can do it using a wood block. How we can create sticks. Because we were able to create planks. So, um, let's take a peek here. So this is made... We need these bad boys on our inventory. It's made normally like how you would in vanilla. Boom, boom, boom. And then boom, boom. And let's grab our stone. Honestly, it might be easier to keep this on us. Perfect. Okay, we got our our stone axe here. So I'm curious. Um, hold shift. Durability is 225, which is actually pretty nice. Um, compared to what we were using before, which was... Let's see if we can pull it up here. I'm missing it. Here it is, the flint hatchet had 100 so we basically doubled it uh now what we were trying to get was our pickaxe here and uh, again same vanilla minecraft recipe but you do need to use this workbench don't know why i put this stone back get this out of our inventory i can already tell our inventory is going to be such a mess and boom Let's grab our stone pickaxe. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's grab it. And we have the achievement stone age. So let's take a look at our progression here. We have crafted stone age. So we now have a better arsenal. Can we throw this into the fire? We cannot, but we will hold on to it for now. We probably should get some more wood. It'd be quite useful. I don't know if now that we have a stone axe if we cut down trees if they'll go down all the way or if we still have to do yeah we still unfortunately have to cut every single one it would have been quite nice if it uh cut the whole tree for you but i mean it is what it is i feel like it would make the most sense you know especially with a mod pack like this where it's clearly focused on um you know being more realistic on how you progress i mean you couldn't even i mean you could punch a tree but i mean you couldn't get wood from it by punching it <clears throat> so i'm just gonna make sure we get a good supply of wood here i think that was all of it from that bad boy so many trees up here I know our little base is ugly at the time being, but as we progress, we'll make it look nicer. So we do have a weird, some weird tree bark up there. I think this is an olive tree. Yeah, that's from that bad boy right there. Whew. All right, we also have this. And cool. I think that should suffice for now. Jeez. We did get a good amount of sticks from that, which is quite nice. So, like you, um, we saw earlier by reading from it, you can get sticks by picking them up, or you can get them from breaking the uh, the leaves and getting them that way. So, as you can see, we are getting so full on items. I kind of want to create a chest and then call it an end of an episode because it is already very, very long, and I don't know how many of you have stuck around for this long so let us get uh just a place to put our stuff so we want a chest i'm hopeful that it's just called a chest yes perfect so we just need that and then a rock in the middle that doesn't really make too much sense to me but you know that is what it is do we have to use planks though we do need to use planks does not look like yeah it does not look like we can use anything other than planks a u log oh interesting Carbon value, 16,000. Okay. Um, let us get a chopping block going here. We'll put it over here. And let's... Is there... Well, now I'm curious. Because do we have to use the chopping block? Or can we do it the old-fashioned way? Oh, if you use a club, a dark stone axe, a stone axe, you'll get more from it okay or there's this a horsepower oh you have to have horses i think to do it i guess
maybe. I'm so confused on how I did that. <laughs> I have no idea how I did that. Okay, I think that little progression bar that comes across, you see, oh, uh, maybe that's not. So one, two, three, four. So four hits, and it turns it into it. So I guess you can't just hold it down. You actually have to hit it. There we go. Okay, I think that'd be plenty. Yeah, ten, I think, is plenty. We have our stick. Uh, we don't need sticks for this, but... So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight and then we need a stone here not sticks let's put that bad boy right in the middle we're already out of space let's get rid of some of these we don't really need these flowers right now um that actually might be nice that's actually edible get rid of that now, some of these might be useful to have for different things down the line, um, but I'm just trying to free up some space for us at the current moment. We don't really need a lot of this stuff. So, <clears throat> okay, let me bump this bad boy off. Don't really need those. Okay. Let's grab our stone here, and then boom, 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 boom. Cool. And let's grab our chest. Goal reached. A place to put my stuff. Let's put this bad boy right here. I think that's a good place for it. Ooh, look it. It's got a cool little lid on the top, too. Oh, and it looks like... Can we break this? I'm kind of curious on how much it stores. Does it say on it? it does not say. But what can we, like, put in here? Um, let's say, what, what do we don't, what don't we need? Let's say cow pelt. Let's say we don't need that. Okay. Does it only store four? Be a little bummed if that's all it stores is four items. We don't need these. The one, two. I'm trying to see. So confused. I mean, it looks really cool, but one, two, three, right? One, two, three by one, two, three, four. Yeah, so it looks like it's a three by four, right? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, yeah. Interesting. Okay, so we'll put that in the back there. Now, what if I want this out? Okay. Take that bad boy out. Put that back there. Jeez, this is quite customizable. Let's put some saplings in here. Um, what else? We have some patatas. Can we plant this? Oh, we can. Let's put it right there. What else could we put away? Maybe this? The mesh? Well, no, we need that if we get more flint. Well, yeah, we'll hold on to it for now. I don't know. I think that should be fine. I was just kind of curious how you store it. Now, does it close? Oh, okay. You just click on it, it opens and closes. That's pretty cool. Very, very immersive. But all right, we're already sitting at uh, 100. We're already sitting at an hour and five minutes for this first episode. I know it's very long. There is so much to do for this, though. So um, I'm probably going to record an episode, another episode right after this. And uh, we'll just keep going with it. So... Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to leave a like down below. Or if you want to see anything in this mod pack, just let me know and we can uh, dive into it a little more. Uh, if you want to subscribe, um, that'll let you know every single time that I post a new episode to the channel. Um, and if you hit that bell notification, it'll notify you as well. Other than that, guys, thank you for sticking through till the end. For those of you who did stick through till the end, um, I will catch you all in the next episode. Thanks. Bye.